Привет! Меня зовут Ронут, я русский филиппинец. Just kidding. Hey, what up, internet, and welcome back to another video. And in today's topic, I decided to create a small residential project using Revit. And in this setup, I'm going to upload on separate videos where we're going to talk about process by process yung pagawa ng project na yun. Kaya, in this first part video, uh, purely, uh, gagawa lang tayo ng isang floor plan. And, with dimensions. Ganun yung process natin. Hinahinay muna. Para at least we can uh, get to familiarize dun sa tools. At especially yung mismong Revit software. And also, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to this channel. And you may also click the uh, notification bell but at least uh, you can be updated every time that I upload the videos especially for this uh, series uh, video but at least uh, yeah yeah <laughs> so so without further ado let's put your hands up baby come on let's get it on to start off let's click new that was let's select a template I have added architectural metric uh, I think two weeks ago. So I'm going to show you how paano mag-add ng isang metric template para automatically naka-metric na yung mga elements na nasa loob ng isang project. So for now, let's select architectural template. Tapos hit OK. Then go to file. Tapos options. Click file locations. Tapos dito tayo mag-add. So, just disregard mo na, for example, wala tayo nito. So, click plus. Tapos, just look into the file locations. So, just look in sa kung saan nakasave yung template ng Revit. Ayan. So, make sure na na you select the US metric folder. Tapos, click on default metric. So, that's what we're going to use. Ayan, nag-add na siya. Just click OK. So, ganun lang kabilis or kadali mag-add ng isang metric template. So, since meron na tayo, we're going to uh, use the architectural metric, then hit OK. Alright, so let's start creating walls. Type in WA by default, yung command ng uh, walls. Tapos, if you look into the properties, yung current na ginagamit natin is 200mm. But this one is too thick for the wall perimeters. So, we're going to add or make a copy of this wall. So, go to edit type. Tapos duplicate. We're gonna rename this to 150 mm. Tapos okay. Tapos under construction structure, we're gonna edit the thickness of the wall to 150. Tapos okay. Then click okay. Then okay. So ayan na siya. So yung uh, set current nyo is the 150 mm. So we can now start creating the boundaries. So as you can see, yung una kong ginagawa is yung perimeter ng building. Kasi um, the exterior wall thickness, I mean the exterior wall should be thicker than uh, the interior walls. So we're going to connect these walls by typing TR. Ayan. The reason why we created first the perimeter wall is because iba yung thickness ng exterior walls natin at iba din yung thickness ng interior wall so we already have the exterior walls let's move on to creating the interior walls type in wall or wa tapos for this one we're going to use uh, 100 mm so since wala pa siya we're going to so let's go go back to edit type tapos duplicate rename to 100 mm okay then edit okay that was okay i had my my interior wall that i know 100 mm so we can uh, start creating the walls um i'm going to stretch this wall by dragging the, the point 
here. Also, you can extend that by typing TM. Tapos, select nyo yung path, kumbaga, or boundary. Tapos, yung wall. Ayan na siya. That's TM or trim multiple. Ayan. So, may interior walls na tayo. Okay, as you can see, may dimensions na temporary na pinapakita sa Revit. However, um, nasa interior, by default, naka, nasa interior faces siya ng wall. So, we're going to change that para pag may i-click tayo ng wall, I want na dimensions na kabase sa sound center ng walls. So, go to manage additional settings tapos temporary dimensions. Under walls, uh, we select center of core. That's the center line of the wall. Then hit OK. So, ayan. Naka-center to center na yung dimensions. And for this one, as you can see, hindi naka-flash yung interior wall to this one. So, we are going to align that by typing AL. Tapos, isa-select nyo yung line kung saan nyo siya gusto i-align. Tapos, yung wall. Tapos, you can click lock or the padlock para kahit anong adjustments dyan, susunod na yung interior wall. So, apply that to, others, uh, to other walls. Ayan. Okay. So, ganun lang. Next is, uh, we are going to put room names para at least alam natin kung ano yung rooms na ginawa natin. So, type in RM to put in room names. Let's change muna the scale para readable siya. Para hindi masyadong magulo or masikip. And so, uh, rename them accordingly. Okay. And uh, if you want to hide these numbers, pwede din gawin yun. So, just click on the tag. Tapos, go to edit type. Uncheck nyo lang yung box sa showroom number. Tapos, okay. Ayan. Next is, uh, we're going to add doors. Just type in DR. Tapos, ito yung current na door na meron tong project file na to. So, let's just put in some doors here. Adjust muna natin to. Let's uh, make this uh, probably 1.3 meters. Add wall. I mean door. Uh, to change the orientation of the door, just uh, hit spacebar on your keyboard. And also, if you want to add, um, if you want to to load or to use other type of door, uh, you can uh, go to insert, that was load family. You can choose doors here, but make sure na nasa US metric kayo, depending on kung anong unit yung ginagamit nyo. So, since metric yung ginagamit natin, we're going to go to US metric and select doors. Dito natin nahanapin kung anong type of door yung gusto nyo i-load. And for this one, uh, I'm going to put some door openings here. I'm going to load family. Go to insert, load family. That was here under US metric folder. Uh, go to doors. Then I'm going to select door opening then open. Then type in DR. Ayan. So my door opening na tayo. Ayan. Next thing is uh, we're going to add windows. So by default, type in WN. Tapos here in the properties, we can uh, select windows or type of window you want to use. So for me, I'm going to use the casement one. So, uh, put in there, here. So, depende na sa inyo kung anong type of window yung gagamitin nyo. 
Ayan. Tapos for the TNB, I'm going to use um, siguro double hung. This one. Ayan. So let's arrange mo na ito. Make sure they are on center. Alright, but for this one, this opening looks too small for me. I'm going to change its width um, by going to edit type, tapos magdu-duplicate tayo. Um, siguro yung opening will be probably 2,500 by 2,100 yung height. Hit OK, yung rough width will be 2,100. Ah no, 2,500. Tapos yung rough height will be 200. Okay. Ayan. Malaki na siya. So, ganun lang kadali mag-edit ng isang ng element. Just go to edit type. Okay. So, let's uh, move forward and putting some dimensions. So, yung ginagawa ko usually is I start putting dimensions dun sa pinaka-exterior walls. That means yung length and width of the building. The next is yung um, yung uh, dimensions per room. And all right, so this is how easy and fast to create a floor plan using Revit. So on the next videos, we will be uh, creating or adding elements such as floors, ceilings, and uh, roof. So I think this covers our part one beginner tutorial.